Assalamu alaikum everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my YouTube channel, my name is Faisa Habibti. I make videos about beauty, lifestyle, and cooking. And if you're into that kind of stuff, please subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Today we're making chicken sambus. I have not made sambus in a very long time. I haven't made it since the last. The last time I made it is when I used to live with my parents. So this is going to be interesting, you guys. And I'll show you guys exactly how I'm going to make it. I have everything prepared, you guys. I just have some minced onions, butter, green onions. Uh, water, a little brush for the paste because we're gonna bake our sambus. We're not gonna fry it. We're gonna try to be healthy this Ramadan, you guys. Some cilantro, uh, flour in here, extra virgin olive oil, salt, of course. For the sambus, you guys, I'm just gonna use this egg roll wrap because I don't want to make the butter and everything. I'm kind of lazy. I got this from Kapoods. It's a Nasoy uh, vegan one, and this is actually really easy to make sambus with. It cuts down your cooking in half. I got this pan from Target, you guys, and it's an iron wok, and it's actually really nice and really sturdy. I've cooked with it, and it honestly look i cooked with it last night and it looks like i didn't even use it like this is brand new this is like in really good condition so let's get started Now that I'm all done chopping, I'm just gonna get my chicken, you guys. And if there's one adulting hack that I can tell you guys is to pre-chop your chicken and put it in the freezer. I had this chicken, I got it a week ago, and honestly, I cut it all up and I just put it in the freezer. Then I let it um, defrost last night and like overnight after we woke up for suhoor, I let it defrost, you guys. And this is the easiest thing ever. You never have to chop up your chicken or like onions or anything. You don't have to chop it up. Just pre-chop it, put it in a container. That's one hack that I learned, which makes it much easier to cook, you guys. Like I don't have to worry and it takes so long cooking when I already have everything prepared. Okay, so I have the oven on uh, medium-high, and then we're going to start with some butter, you guys. The kind of sambus we're making today, we're going to bake it. We're not going to fry it because we're trying to eat healthier this Ramadan, and I'm not going to lie. Being quarantined and being stuck at home kind of made us lazy, and it made us eat really bad and, like, eat junk food. Since we're not going out, and we're not going to the gym, and we're not going out to eat at restaurants, usually we would eat, but we wouldn't overeat, or we wouldn't just be, like, super lazy because we know we don't want to mess up our workout, and we haven't worked out since the gym has closed. So Ramadan, inshallah, we're trying to eat small and eat healthier so we're not gonna fry our sambus we're gonna bake our sambus and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm gonna do that so first we're gonna start with the butter While the butter is starting to melt, you guys, we're going to start with mixing our chicken. And I cut it up into small, really small pieces as well, as small as I could, like minced chicken. And first, we're going to add some salt and pepper. Okay, I just added some pepper in there, you guys. We're going to add some coriander. It doesn't have to be organic, you guys, but this is the brand that I like to use, the McCormick Gourmet um, Coriander. Then we're just going to put some on top. I kind of eyeball it. I don't really measure it, you guys. Next, we're going to add some chili pepper to give it that nice little spice. Who doesn't like to have some sambus with a little bit of spice? And then I do the same thing with this one. I just eyeball it, you guys. And I try to be a little generous with it. I love flavors in my food. I like my food a little bit spicy. My husband doesn't. Next, we're going to add some salt, you guys. And I have my salt in this little container thing that I got from Target. It's actually so cute, and it just says salt on it. Let me get a little spoon. And then we don't need too much salt either. And then now we can just mix. I 
I stopped mixing midway, you guys, because I needed some garlic powder, and this used to say garlic on it. I have this whole spice jar that says like all the spices that I have, but I've used this so much that the little garlic thing came off, so we're gonna add some garlic powder. I don't know if you guys add this in your some boost, but it gives it a really good flavor. I would try it if you've never tried it. It's just a nice little kick to it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna add, you guys, is just some ground cumin. I don't know why this doesn't want to focus. Oh, there we go. We're gonna add some ground cumin in this and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna eyeball it and let's go. It smells just like my mom's cooking you guys and it just smells so good so I know I must be doing something right boy I hope you're proud of me and you're watching this video my chicken is starting to cook you guys it looks so good and so delicious what do you guys think of vlog like videos or what do you guys think of this video um, do you guys want more cooking videos like this where I'm talking through as I'm cooking. You guys look at this. Look how my and that looks right now. Let me know what you guys think of these kind of videos. I don't know. I kind of like doing it this way. This is a little bit vlog style, but I don't know. This is like really fun, you guys. Look who came to join us in cooking, you guys. And she's gone. I might have to cut this chicken up even more. A little bit more you guys because I don't know it's kind of looking kind of big to me I mean I made it smaller these little pieces are okay but like some of these pieces are some of these pieces are bigger than I honestly expected Okay, the chicken is all done, you guys. Now we're gonna add some onions in the mix. And it just adds a beautiful color to it. Then we're gonna add some cilantro. Although I added garlic already to the chicken spice, you guys, I'm gonna add crushed garlic also into it right now. I love garlic, you guys. I don't know why. I love, like, garlic's one of my favorite things to add in food. But I got this garlic crusher from Walmart, and you can get it from Walmart and Amazon. It's actually really nice, and you can get it from TJ Maxx, too. Let me show you guys how to use it. We added some onions already, you guys, but we're going to add some green onions and it gives it an extra spice, a little bit of a kick. And yeah, let's add some in there, you guys. And also, not to mention, it gives it more color. I don't think I have to chop this up anymore because look how small the chicken got now that it's like all well cooked. So we're just going to put it in this plate for now, you guys, so I can get the egg roll wrap, some boost wrap thing ready. Okay, you guys, I'm just waiting for the oven to warm up. I turned the oven on to 350 degrees, so it's just prepping itself. So now we're just going to wait. Um, in the meantime, it's so beautiful outside, you guys. Alhamdulillah, it's like 70 degrees today, and my cat is like sunbathing. Dina! Hi. It's such a beautiful day, you guys, outside. Alhamdulillah. 
it's not too hot or too cold it rained but the rain just stopped it was like very light beautiful rain like i went outside to go get um the egg roll some boost roll things and it was just so beautiful you guys as the rain was coming down and now it's nice and sunny and the sun is about to set in like 45 minutes so we'll put in about 45 minutes so alhamdulillah you guys it's so beautiful Now that everything is ready, we're gonna get the samboos um, folded. We already cut it into the samboos shaped a little egg roll. And this is my husband, Mohammed. Hello, guys. Okay. So start from the bottom. So it's like this little rounded shape at the bottom and then it's really pointy at the top, just like the samboos shape is. So then fold it like this. It's really hard to do on the camera, you guys. And then make sure you close the bottom there's no hole at the bottom. Is there a hole in yours? Oh wow, mashallah, you got it. Okay. Then after that, we're gonna put a little bur inside on the inside of this, and then we're gonna fold it down and close everything, if that makes sense. And then we have our little bur paste right here. It's all sticky and mushy. Now that we're all done, you guys, wrapping the samboos, um, we have it in here in this little baking pan. And then I just have some extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just going to add it as a paste on top. That way the samboos comes out really nice, pretty, and brown. Now we have all those boosts covered in olive oil, you guys, and make sure to put either a cooking spray or a little olive oil inside the pan. That way the samboos doesn't get stuck. We're gonna put this in the oven. And the oven is ready. Let's just turn the light on. And we're gonna let it bake. You guys, we've already broken our fast. We're just gonna wait for the samboos to get done um, cooling down. And that's gonna be our little dessert for tonight. But I really hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think. You guys, the samboos is all done baking. Look how nice and crispy that looks. You can see all the veggies and the chicken on the inside, but this looks so crispy. We're just gonna wait for it to cool and then we're gonna have it because ain't nobody trying to burn their lips. But this looks so ma'an, alhamdulillah. Okay, you guys, we're gonna have Mohammed try it and see what he thinks. Why are you so nervous? Alhamdulillah. You are! <laughs> so much. Let me do it again because you're messing me up. Uh, we're gonna have Mohammed try it and <clears throat> see what he thinks. Alright. Very good. Crunchy. You can really taste the chicken. Does it taste better in the oven or does it taste better fried? The oven. Why the oven? This is the first time I ever made it in the oven before. I thought it was going to turn out really bad. And some of the sambusas really didn't even look like sambusas to be honest. The taste is better. Um. And it's just, I think it's a little bit more healthy than deep frying it, you know? That's very true. Are we going to make it again? Well, well, sorry, babe. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my channel. 
Let me know if you guys try this recipe. It's really actually good. So please give it a try. Even everything, the um, seasonings with it. Because it's so man, especially with chicken. And usually I like fish or chicken some boost, but this was so good. Mohammed the proofs? Yeah, Thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.